I, I can remember uh, we, we were, shall we say, fairly poor. We took three of us to chip in to buy a $15 H&R uh, break open shotgun and five shells and we went out and shot three grouse. <laughs> and uh, so that was kind of when I really started to get into the grouse hunting. I'm a big believer that everyone needs a mentor in the hunting and fishing and shooting world. Um, and so the greatest return I get out of, out of that is to bring people out and uh, let the, inf the infection uh, of, and the thrill of the hunt get passed on and, and let them make a memory. And I'm very fortunate that my, my two of my three sons have really uh, accepted the challenge of grouse and woodcock hunting. Well, the, the, the camaraderie uh, and the social are very important to me. You can be out hunting all day, and you may not necessarily move a bird, but you're getting good dog work. You may flush some birds that you had missed shot uh, opportunities, but you come back and you relive that uh, at, during the social period. And, and it brings it all back and, and um, it, it, it is a memory. I mean, uh, you, you will walk away from this camp and you will have a memory of the, the birds that we, we flushed and uh, we harvest. And uh, so th th that, that part of it, I think, is more important than the kill uh, because um, I, every year I try to bring up, I have a list of about 20 individuals, I try to bring them up uh, and, and get them out into the field and teach them how to hunt grouse and woodcock, how to get in position to make a good shot, uh, how to enjoy the dog work, um, and, uh, and, pa and so that they can pass that on. And uh, so that's, that's I, I want to pass it on to others because I think I've been very fortunate over the years to have had many great experiences in the field. And I want others to know that they too can do that. Developed area in Worcester with my bow and arrow, and there was snow on the ground, and maybe a foot or so. And so I'm less than ten because we moved out of that house in ten. And I saw this brown thing sitting underneath this tree. I didn't know what a grouse was, <laughs> you know. So I shot the arrow at it, and of course the grouse flushed again. I have two grandsons uh, from my uh, first son Ernie the fourth. Uh, John and Danny and uh, yes, they've uh, all, they've shot their first deer already. Uh, they, they shot their first deer when they were 12 and 15. Uh, they've shot grouse and woodcock with me. Um, uh, so th those two are coming right along. They're local, and of course they have a dad that gets them out also. It's very special to see three generations on the ground. And, you know, the, the kids, the, the young adults now, the kids look up to their grandfather, but at the same time, the grandfather's looking down at them and saying, wow, you, you can't write this script. And I've been very fortunate. I mean, that they're in my life and they're experiencing this. They love to come up here to the lodge. They bring friends up with them. Um, so we, it, it's very special. My name is Ernie Foster and I'm a member of the Rough Grouse Society.